What's going on guys? I just finished up the first three episodes of Vinland Saga. I've read the whole manga, so like I know the whole story. I like so it's not really new to me. So like you know. But uh I, honestly like uh so far so solid, you know? Like uh it's it's a little weird watching it and hearing it in Japanese because when I watched, when I read the manga, it's like I'm re I'm hearing it in English, and I have I kind of you know you you develop distinct voices for each character, so it can kind of be a little frustrating. Like it got a little, it was a little annoying. Like oh man, like I don't want to hear this in Japanese. I already got the English voices in my head, and then the voices aren't matching with the characters for me personally. But for the most part, like I like the music that they put in there. The music really sets the tone. Uh, they definitely uh, are kind of doing things a little differently from the manga in terms of whereas the manga just kind of jumped out the gate with, uh, you know, Thorfinn, you know, like, I mean, basically in the manga, uh, Vinland Saga started a few years ahead and the portion that we're seeing now, you didn't really get until like a few chapters in in the manga so basically th this this like so with the anime i guess which kind of makes sense so the anime is going more linear than the manga did whereas the manga started you i, I believe maybe what seven years ahead or something no nine i don't know but basically thorfinn was 17 so i think 11 I, it depends i'm not sure if they got the age right in the, the uh sub that i saw but Thorfinn, you start out with Thorfinn at age 17 in the manga, but over here, <clears throat> they have him much younger. But this portion of the anime was probably like 15 chapters into the manga, 10, maybe earlier than that even, but which isn't bad, you know. <clears throat> so I guess, I guess they're trying to be really linear. Honestly, I think they, they probably would have been better off keeping it in the order that they had it just because I kind of feel, eh, it was just kind of cool, you know, like you, it, it was cool in the way, like they introduced you to Thorfinn as he is at 17, where he's a lot more vicious and all those things. And then you kind of go back and you see, damn, this was a uh, Thorfinn's backstory. Cause you just kind of wonder like, yo, what is up? And then they, you know, but I, I guess they're, they're, they're kind of going to generic just, started from jump you know they they don't want to do the uh the garbled up how he sues me approach although i don't think it was that garbled i think the the way that it was uh, originally entailed in the manga definitely kind of did more evaluate it was it was good for character development i feel but moving on uh just overall though the the first three episodes like i said earlier had great music uh the, the themes I don't, I'm not really big on the CGI. That that kind of annoys me. I'm not really big on that. And then the way the characters are drawn a little bit, it's, they're a little, they're, it's like, it, it just feels like, it's, it's kind of like a very generic anime look. Sort of. Like, it would have been nicer if it was a little more distinctive. You know, like, giving it a little more edge. Not too much technology. That... And then one kind of disappointment, honestly, for me, the action in the manga was better than the action that I saw in the in the anime. Now, we'll see. We'll see what happens moving forward. It, I like I said, but overall, it's solid. But it's it definitely uh, it's just it's it's, it's been solid. I mean, like like I. Mm. I don't know. I guess I just kind of feel like the way that they did the action is just a little it's generic, you know? It just there's no flair to it. Like in the manga, everything had flair, like the way that uh whenever Thorfinn fought, whenever Thor is like all these guys it had this flair where it's like the anime has this hack and slash feel to it. Which isn't I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I'll see how it goes. They're bringing out more episodes. I, I, from what I've been told, 
they're we're not gonna get a new episode for three weeks. I don't know if they're gonna if it's something like they're gonna do a a like a type of monthly three episode drop or if they're just gonna be doing one like already just doing waiting three weeks because they already dropped three episodes and they're gonna do one episode per week moving forward. But I guess that would be kind of cool if they did a monthly three episode drop though. I I, I would I wouldn't mind that like uh. Yeah, that that'd be actually be that'd be pretty straight. Where probably their biggest positive is like just how they're they're flowing everything together and the way that they set the scenes with the music and uh just just and the coloring. So it's just really you know, it's it's cool like with to see it everything in color where I can see the snow and you can see the environment and it's just a little different, it gives a totally different vibe. Although there there is one big issue that I did have though. Uh, another big issue that I had is the scene where Thoris was supposed to name his daughter and he just kind of blew it off. And then Helga, his wife was just like, yo, name him. And he said, that's the first time I ever seen a man. I kind of wish they added a little more emotion to that scene. Cause when I read it in the manga, it just felt, I felt it. I read it and I was like, damn, I, it just felt like she was screaming at him. But in the, in the anime, it just looked like, okay, honey, see you. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, honey, uh, name him, name her. You know, it wasn't like, in the manga, I read it like, name her, you know, like, don't dismiss it. Like, I just, I was like, damn, like, why is she talking like that? But it wasn't, that was probably, that was probably another one of my bigger issues, but it, these are minor thing, minor whatever i mean hopefully that's not something they do, that they do too much hopefully they maintain a strong level of emotion you know throughout the show so but but for the most part everything else hit, everything else hit home pretty pretty decently pretty solidly i can a little early on i can't say if it's good or if the show's good or bad so far i'll give it solid i have like i got my complaints i got my positives we're going to see how it goes moving forward. I've definitely seen quite a few, like, especially as far as the generic looks, I've seen animes improve as shows went on, things of that nature. We're going to see. I just hope they get rid of the CGI. I, I don't like the CGI. They need, to, they need to ditch that. Just keep it traditional. This is anime. Like, just no CGI, please. Thank you. But, all right. All right, guys. You know, I'll, I'll get back to you with some more content in the future. All right. See y'all later.